colds and exhausted. The first migrants to reach Mexico City wake up after their night in the capital. According to officials, over 500 people reached the city on Sunday, where they were provided with shelter inside a stadium and given food and water. They are now waiting for the rest of the caravan as a further 4,000 migrants make their way north through Mexico. Our goal is to arrive in one group at the border. We hope that when Donald Trump sees us with our children and how much we have been suffering, that he will open his heart. Just behind them, a second group of 1,000 migrants. Others continue their trek through the state of Veracruz, a journey that has been dubbed the route of death. In recent years, hundreds of migrants have been kidnapped and held for ransom, a risk they are willing to take as they hope to find refuge in the United States. What we ask, even from the United States government, is to be a little more humane. We don't come to cause trouble. We come to work. But the chances of obtaining political asylum are looking increasingly small. U.S. troops are reinforcing surveillance of the border and Donald Trump is threatening to authorize large-scale detentions. A strategic move for his party as Americans go to the polls in the midterm elections.